what's up guys so i'm sitting here today and um i'm actually about to go through my emails everything like that vanessa is supposed to be coming over with winter and so i'm just waiting on them i texted her good morning about like an hour ago so i'm just waiting but right now i'm watching tv i'm in my bed my laptop is on the floor charging right now because it was dead and i was trying to go in it and so um i'm not gonna say what vlogmas day this is because i've been slacking but like i said this is my first year and honestly that's the most videos i have dropped even though it does not mean that this is okay because i could have did better i need to take some medicine because I've, I've been like in the middle of the night it's like at night time it's like really bad in the day by the time i get up and stuff it's like a little better but before we get into the video like comment subscribe turn on post notification on the road to consistency i'm so excited for december december has been so great to me mentally physically emotionally well physically i've just been eating but that's not the point i just I had a really good conversation with a friend today. I have real conversations with a couple friends this month. And I'm just like, I am in charge of my life. I'm in charge of my destiny. Not, not like that, but like, I'm in charge of what I allow in my life or not. You know what I'm saying? God gives me these instincts, these energies, and these signs. And it's up to me to open my eyes, open my ears, open my heart, and listen. You know? And I just want to say that to my supporters out there. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you guys are going to the week and do something completely different and something that finally makes you happy. And do not be do and be unapologetic about it. You know what I'm saying? Do not apologize for doing the things that make you happy because there's people that are counting on your happiness. And there are people that are counting on your not happiness. You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah. Um, today is the celebrity basketball game and so I'm planning on going there and I want to vlog it and everything like that so I'm excited about that to see kind of how everything kind of goes um so yeah okay so I'm here at my makeup appointment to get my makeup done for this little celebrity basketball thing um I talked to Vanessa a little earlier she's still getting her um makeup done so Ooh. I'm headed to the appointment right now it's one o'clock. She got like a 15 minute late policy. I'm about two minutes late. So I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna show you my before. And I'll show you my after. And I'll keep you updated for the rest of the day. Thank you for watching my vlog. Shoot. Okay, so I just got my face done. Yeah. Hold on, let me make sure I got my keys. Okay, so I just got my face done. Jazz just did my face. And so, Y'all, I don't think nobody understands how excited I am for this new year. I think a lot of people, especially myself, I feel like I doubted myself last year. I had to handle a lot of, like, responsibilities, and, and it's okay. It taught me a lot, and I'm just really excited for this new year that's coming up. I'm so excited to give you guys the things you guys have been asking for, the things I've been procrastinating for. 2020, I'm going in there with, if it fail, it fail, but if it work, it work. And so right now, um, I'm actually about to see where Vanessa is because I'm hungry. We got a few hours. I know what I'm wearing. My hair and my makeup is done. Ooh, I'm wearing my hair straight, so it's not as if like I gotta do anything extra to it. Um, yeah. So she did that though, didn't she? She did that though. She did that though. She did that though. So um. So y'all, I just got my makeup done. Right now, I'm headed to the house. I'm about to see where Vanessa's at because I'm hungry and I want to eat. The first event doesn't start till 5.45, but I know what I'm wearing. And also, today is a sleepover with everybody. And so I'm just kind of figuring out what everybody is like what everybody's doing right now. I feel really cute. I feel really beautiful. I'm really excited. And um I feel really good like I feel really good I'm making a lot of changes in my life I'm really excited to go into 2020 I've been talking to people and I've been finding out I've been kind of narrowing down what I want my purpose to be not what I want my purpose to be but what I feel like my purpose is and I feel like I've been like making the right moves for everything to go into like the way that I want them to go and I'm not, not really making sense I know I haven't really been consistent out here but yeah but in the meantime over that I feel cute and so maybe that's why I keep talking Oh, wait till I get my chops done. Arr, yes, ain't nobody gonna be able to tell me nothing, okay? Enhance. Period. But I love y'all. Stay tuned, everybody, and I'm out. Get you a baby mama who gonna pull up on you like this. Skirt, 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 skirt. Yes, y'all. That's my friend. That's my friend. Uh, you better. You better. We finna eat. So right now, 
It is 3 13. We about to go inside and get us some mangoes. This is my first time having this. We came here when we was getting lit, but we never like drunk the stuff. She got my baby winter, and so I'm trying to hurry up and get us in so we can get back on my side of town before the traffic and all that other stuff. So, yes, that's that. So, I'm gonna keep y'all updated, show y'all the food. Sorry, my hands look like a little man, but it's okay because these hands will take your man and snatch that wig off your head. Let's hey! <laughs> see this girl in eight years. Yes. Oh, girl, she look like him every day. Guys, so I'm on a date with my lovely wife, Vanessa, the one and only. Y'all, she look like a model, like she finna rap for us real quick. Rap for us? <laughs> we got a whole baby, look at her. This is like a walk around with little baby. Ooh, she aggravated today, y'all. But we finna eat, I'ma show y'all when we get our food. All right, y'all, so this is me and Vanessa's food. This is Vanessa's first time, so I'm about to record her tasting it. This is her first time having, um, she never had jerk chicken before. Mm. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. She got baked, um, macaroni. I, you know I can't eat that. And I got the rice and peas and the cabbage. You know what I'm saying? You like it for real? All right, y'all. So I'm going to show y'all the before and after of our place. I might forget the afters, but y'all get the idea. And look at her. She ready. <laughs> okay, we're doing our baby exchanges right now. <laughs> Ooh, my sister getting thick, ain't she? Yeah. Ooh, never mind. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm wearing because I don't want to wear this outfit no more because Vanessa look real chill and cute and I feel like I'm just look, you know? Yeah. So we got to raid my closet and see what I get and I'm going to show y'all what I got. This is what I'm wearing right now. I just threw on some stuff. Okay. But my face is beat. <laughs> okay, but we got to go because it's time to go. Stay tuned. Hey, Vanessa. Hey. We look here, y'all. So we came here. <laughs> so we came here. And this is where we are. What do you do? <laughs> this one, we look like we have real basketball games. You know what I'm saying? But this ain't LeBron and them. What it looks like when you don't get out of the house. <laughs> When you get out the house for the first time, yes. in a long time. I'm too dressed up. I'm too dressed up. It's okay. We feel cute. And we're. Glad I didn't wear a dress. Yeah, that would have been embarrassing. Yeah, that. Would At that point, <laughs> Vanessa would have had to go out there and rap. I would have sat in the car. Um, Ari, I'm gonna be right back and never came back. <laughs> but we have to go. This is for. Vanessa, who you cheer for? Okay, I'm cheering for the black team too. They look, they look, I like their uniform. Okay, I just gotta find me a favorite player. Wait, wait, wait. Who, who's home? Because they're winning, so I choose them. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when somebody scores, then that's one now. Okay, Took a shower and everything. I know you're like, how you take a shower and your face so long? But I don't know if they're gonna have cameras and stuff. And then I'm gonna be on somebody sleepover and on camera. I'm not gonna catch me sleeping and I'm gonna get this full face work. And I'm gonna take it off tonight because I don't like it. Um... Ow! Oh! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I am so sorry. You scared the mess out of me, though. Oh my goodness. Bye. Oh, I thought he was going to press the button. Like, what you got going on today? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Oh, y'all, so I'm going to go over here. This is a little, this is a little event real fast. But I can't face on. I'm going to just like, little clips on something. So, I'm about to go over there for a little bit. She said like 22 minutes away. I'm not staying at night, though. Because I really, I, yeah, I'm going to go back to my bed. I want to sleep in. I don't want to wake up and have to leave. I'm home. And, you know what I'm saying? I got to do all that. But yeah, ooh, that man scared the mess out of me. 
but yeah i'm just keeping you know, updated i know this vlog may be long may not be long but i'm gonna show you an experience um i've got chick-fil-a which is just a waste of money but i'm gonna eat that probably later on depending on what time i get home and you know we're drinking margaritas and all this things like that but um i need to put my phone down so i can stay focused so i can know what's going on while i'm going to the parking garage but i love y'all when i be here without y'all on the road to consistency i hope you guys enjoy um have been enjoying a little bit of the vlogmas that i have tried to do and um yeah peace it's like 12 a.m by the way so next time you see me my lash might be on my forehead Hey y'all, so I ain't gonna show everybody too fast, but we are, are back together again and we are getting lit once again for our little sleepover. It is 1 a.m. y'all. Y'all know how real girl Y'all know how we do. This is 1 a.m. and so she made tacos, so we eating tacos tonight. But I'm drinking some apple juice and stuff. Everybody got a little coke, everybody got a little just ice water, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna keep y'all updated and say up to them. As our Culture. We're like the only people that the Muslims. We together. still fight it. If you, you go look on Africa, together. if you go look no. at Africa right now, black people we still fight down, it. We fight. do. We, 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 we sold each other. Black people sold black people. They did that on purpose, though. They put us in poverty in a small neighborhood. And what does that make you do? It makes you fight against each other and kill each other and kill each other. And black people. Like, I just feel like education is free and people don't enlighten themselves. Yeah. Like I'm like I keep saying all night. I read a lot. I watch a lot of videos. I self educate myself. I feel like you can go to college online for free because all you have to do is read, write. They have the quizzes on there. You have to all just Coursera.com. So all you have to do is educate yourself. So people don't know that. Back in the day, they did that on purpose. They put black people in a small area of poverty and duh. What does that make you do? Turn against each other. So we still got our and then we got our cousins that's and our uncles and our and fathers and all coke enough. and crack and all these other of stuff. All that they the, of all the races and communities, I feel like they took away the jobs. We do not band together. Like no, we don't. To. And I don't know if we ever. We will. supposed to buy the block. Y'all get so mad about. Um, like gentrification, but we're supposed to buy and they, and our they, community they, back. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Buy, like, stay, put our money within the community. And Jay, when we get money, what do we do? We buy jewelry. We spend the money with the white folks, with the Jews, with the Muslims. I was about to say, Asians. my son not having Christmas because if you look at it, white people have been spending. It's not even white people, but I don't even like to put a color on it because I feel like if black people was doing it to white people, does that make it right? Nope. Yeah. So it's like somebody is just how it is. I don't feel like it's a color thing, so I hate when people say the white man. But it's like how it's set up. You spend money all year. Look at it. Christmas, people about to spend their checks. Valentine's Day. New Year's, people about to go straight to the liquor store, get drunk, spend their checks. Yeah. Valentine's Day, you got spring break, you got Easter, you got Memorial, whatever. Fourth of July, then you got Memorial Day, Labor Day, whatever it is. Then you got Halloween, then you got Thanksgiving, then you got Christmas. They got you spending money all year. And some people is not like, I don't know why, because I've always felt like this. So I don't understand what it is on the other side. But it's like, why don't people think like, I need to save my money or to get ahead. I'm not going to buy this or I'm not going to do this. Because we're not oppressed. Gonna... We were oppressed. We're used to not having. So now when we have money, we want to have what other people have. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. what, the, what the people who have money have. So but that's why we go about, we're able to, so. yeah, nobody that's not how them. people thinking. Yeah, they're thinking is. like, nobody I got money, them. I can finally afford what the people who oppressed me mm -hmm. could afford. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. now I can go on Gucci and I can go buy and a bag. you I are like it for a moment. I, I feel like black people have done that before. Everybody yeah. has done that before. Like, yeah. seeing something that you really wanted or something that the girl in high school always had all of the J's or yeah. always had all the jury and now you finally got but your mom own money. Broken but that don't matter. Like, now you finally got out. the she money. That don't, you don't see that. Yeah. You see what she got on and what she doing. You've been at a place like that. I feel like you all may have been at a place like that before where you feel like you want something because this is what, you know, the, the world is showing you. So you go do it. But you learn from it and be like, damn, I spent all my money on this. Yeah, and now I ain't got shit to show adult, for it. As an adult, there's there's no excuse. But I think no as more an adult, because knowledge is free. But there's you know, no excuse as an adult because knowledge is free. If I'm curious about something, I'm going to Google it. I'm going to read a book. I'm going right, to study it. Nobody has to you come not, teach me shit. I'm inquisitive as fuck. I have 
a lot of them met nobody who's thinking like that when they should be thinking about that. You see what I'm saying? People aren't taught that. Everybody's taught right now, like a, everybody's taught right now to compete. So it's like a, oh, you got Jordans, I got five thousand dollars, I'm gonna get the Jordans and this. Versus yeah. you looking like. Okay, I might get the Jordans, but this Wait, you know what I'm saying? I don't understand we can how motherfuckers be she at it. She looks so good. and shit like that. Yes. I don't understand how people, I don't, like, not saying that I haven't blew my money before or did dumb shit because I have and still do, but it's just like, I don't understand how people, like, expect people to give them something because nobody in the world ever going to, if you want money, when you're used to not having, YouTube, when you're used to not having, when you're used to not having, when you finally get a little bit of something you want to have, especially with, in a community where people are bragging, people are, yeah. I got this. I feel like we're more material. Mm -hmm. And but you said it yourself. Smarter. You got to be on another My level. Nation, you said it yourself, though. I mean, you are on that another level now. You thinking like that now. But you have said before that uh, when you first got money, your thing was to shit on everybody who said you couldn't do it. Uh -huh. Shit on everybody. Show everybody that, ooh, I got this. Ooh, yeah. I'm doing this. Yeah. But you did that. And you, you see that. where that led you. You exactly. was like, man, why the fuck I do that? I wasted all my money. So, so you now you like, now you yourself. like, I'm yeah. never doing that again. I don't give a fuck what people see. If so they see me in my Tesla, they see me. They don't. They don't. You can't judge that. You can't judge that. I'm not judging them, but I'm saying, but I'm saying at that point, don't blame it. Like how some people say, oh, I can't do this. I can't do that because of a white man. Don't judge it. Don't blame it on the women. Yeah. Just keep saying you want to keep yeah. doing dumb shit. Because yeah. if you've been through this shit, you've seen that you end up broke. You end yeah. up broke. You end up broke. And you want to know how this motherfucker became a billionaire. You study <laughs> his autobiography. It's you it. want to know. <laughs> this, is my, this is what I'm thinking. This is, the, this is where the stuff gets. What's tea? When we know this stuff, why don't we, as, as adults, once we hit that point, Go back and help them to prevent from that stuff. You, you can't. I try to, but I'm not. I hate. I hate. It's some. Think about this. When I'm saying is that there used to be classes. They used to set up stuff, and it used to be the whole school. And this teacher used to come, and it was it was just three of us girls. But she didn't understand that she was showing us stuff that my mom didn't understand, that my mom didn't know. And I was taking that, and my thing is the stuff that I was learning from this woman. I was telling my sisters, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, y'all, I just learned this, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling my friends who won't listen to a grown up, who listen to me like, girl, they was telling me like, why we keep spending our money on the Jordans? We should go start a business. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like the, the goal is not to have everybody listen. It's so, it's like, one for your conscience, you you let everybody know. You were like, letting them be aware. You're, you know what I'm saying? That's You're, just like your business. I feel like, ask me. Mardasha just was saying something like that. She read or listened to a guy, and I was her. telling her too um, how she do and she teach everybody. She puts out videos on her Instagram where she's telling without paying for the class. She's yeah. telling like, you how to do the lashes, people. But everybody gonna watch that video, but who actually gonna go do it? Yeah. That's the point. So people look at me like I give people free information because that's who I am. But also, it's like. That's why the world is separated where it's only 4% of people who's actually rich. Because like I'm telling you right now, <laughs> it's free. If you want to learn how to make a million dollars, you can do it. It's but free to learn how to do it. But out of 10 people in the room, I'm going to teach it? all of y'all how to do it. And only one or two, two of those people going to try. And only one person it. is going to actually do it. That's but true. Now, I, I, I listen. Yeah, that's, that's, like, that's, that's what you can't. That's why you can't. That's why you can't. That one person may change something for other people. What I'm saying is that if you know something, like I said, I learned something from all y'all being here. Yeah. If you know something that can help me, versus if I listen, I, it's like talking to your friend. You don't know she'll listen, but eventually she will. And if she don't, she may take that advice and give it to Ari. So you may tell her something, she's telling me, and I'm like, you right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Naya didn't listen, but Ari did. And then I took the information, and then I didn't want to help another person. You see what I'm saying? So maybe helping one person is enough. Yeah, you know, because I feel one, like as we one one I feel like we're getting higher consciousness of that. I, I really do. I feel like it's not going to happen overnight, especially years and years of years of oppression. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? It's not going to happen overnight. But I feel watching like all these black, black people so far. I yeah, share we have. That anybody that's and around, watching I teach my these people all the time. becomes a success. You get what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Watching these people, okay, they're not buying drugs. You get what I'm saying? It takes time. Each and they do share people. that in memes. They yeah. have the meme where the rich person got on $20, this, $5, this, and every, I'm pretty sure everybody in this room has seen that meme where it's the black not, person. Everybody is not going to. 
the meme where they have the rich person Girl, and it's labeled. Girl, why are you labeled. saying it like that? Me. It's a meme. It's a meme. She called it the meme. <laughs> 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 you talking about it. The meme. I'm like, <laughs> and I know what you're talking about. I'm just looking at you like, what are you saying? What you gotta think about, you gotta think about it like, I people don't want, some people no, don't want to be better. No, it's not even that. It's not even that. Think about like, somebody who's like dirt poor, like, Never had shit. The girl never had, had never shit. Never heard about the thirteen-year-old girl who had to walk eight miles for dirty water every day of her life. I understand and never that. Took a clean We're bath in a, for thirteen years. America. I'm thinking. I'm not thinking <laughs> about Africa right now. <laughs> 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 I'm saying like they in America, fuck. poor as fuck. Like you still got stuff. You just don't have the nicest things. Then you look at other people having stuff. So what do you think is gonna happen when you when you first touch your money? You're gonna go ahead and. I want to get this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to look nice too. I want to get my hair done. I want to. They look want that self like the care. Standard. Your that intelligence self-care. level. It's your intelligence level. You ever it's meet not, somebody who's just? Let me, let me start for one thing. You ever meet somebody who is humble and quiet in the room? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Versus somebody who talk a lot. Like I feel like I'm the mix in between. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? Like, why? You are so freaking funny. <laughs> because I feel like I'm wise, but I still talk a lot. Yeah. So it's like, you talk some people don't respond because they're too smart to talk to you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not even going to, because, because like what you say right now, for instance, I keep debating with it in my mind because it's like, okay, you can feel like that. You can see that person with all this money, but if you're smart, you that person cannot bring you to that way it's thinking. about being smart and being human at the same time like okay you could have smarts me even me i can i have smarts i understand where you're coming from completely does that stop my my damn thoughts from like okay i still want to look good i still you know what i'm saying does that stop you from completely not doing your hair completely not spending money on the extras, nails, hair. No, it doesn't. You're still human. You still want to look good. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's all I'm trying to understand. This you don't understand. This a, no, 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 I'm not saying that that you don't have those thoughts. Yeah. But when it comes to what your life is really going to be at the end of the day. Yeah. It's a, it's an everyday battle. Yeah. It it's an everyday battle. Like I told myself, I'm not getting my nails done until I have an $800 credit score. And I didn't do it for a while, but then I got a boyfriend who said something about it and I got my nails done. Yeah. But then I took them off again. I haven't got them done since, but I tell myself, okay, I want to get them done again. But then I'm like, okay, since I'm going to get my nails done now, where else am I going to save that money though? Yeah. So I have to, since I'm not going to save money from nails, now I got to go back to the 10% income. Yeah. So I still got to do something because when you get that Y factor, my Y factor is I'm never going back to a point where I need a ask a motherfucker to help me so bad to the point where I don't got shit. Mm-hmm. Because I have been in that position too many times. So it's like, once you, st- I don't know, I just feel like I've taught myself so much and I've been around so many people that know so much shit that it's like, you never can get my brain back to thinking the way people think like that. Like, I don't think like that no more. I hate it. Yeah, I don't think like that no more. Like you, for you to be somebody who reads and, and look like you know, like I can listen to you. Like you know a lot of stuff. Have you ever thought about it? Like you know what I'm saying? Like, I thought about a talk show. People always tell me because I'm loud and I do crazy shit and yeah. I'm crazy. Because you, you, Cash, you, you, you come in, you demand attention, and then but it's not in like such of a rude way because you still try to like be respectful. But it's like a, let me talk for a second. But it's like a, you know what I'm saying? And then you do like because I'm watching you just you like she get into it. She really okay. and I'm just looking. I said, oh girl, because this what. I feel like I try to feed into so many people and it's aggravating because I've been through so much shit and now I'm here. You try so to like, help I try to help people. so many people and it's like they literally don't get it. Hey y'all, so I know y'all probably like, dang, the video stopped right there, but the things that was talked in the next topic was a little bit too much tea, you know what I'm saying, you know, and they started dropping names, and we don't know who watched these videos and who don't, so we ain't want to get into that, you know what I'm saying, they start talking about their family, I don't know who family members watches, I don't need no beat, but I didn't get a chance to do an outro, because we kept talking for like about three hours after that, and then I came home and I went to bed and everything like that, so I hope y'all are enjoying that video, if y'all want more girl talks, y'all more anything like that, y'all just comment down below and let 
let me know everything like that because um yeah you know we be having some good times um it's all love and energy nobody i know y'all probably hear everybody talking loud and they're not arguing that's literally if y'all meet them that's how they talk like just loud and aggressive but it's all love and respect and you you gotta have a conversation like a conversation is a conversation how do you feel about the topic that they were we were all talking about comment down below and let me know and subscribe welcome to my channel on a road to consistency on a road to big things popping little things stopping and i love you guys peace